Hi, and Merry Christmas. Actually, it's Christmas Eve, and I'm just sitting here in my office, and I figured I'd better get a video out to you guys, because I've been traveling the last couple of weeks, and uh, I know I've promised a lot more content uh, as we finish 2020, but uh, also going into 2021. And uh, I've got, let me just get, I've got many here on my lap here, and we're just uh, kind of chilling out here for uh, the afternoon before uh, we get ready to hit the road for the weekend. And I just wanted to kind of send a message out to all of you and uh, uh, say it's been, look, I, I'm like you. I, I'm, I'm kind of glad that 2020 is soon uh, behind us, but here's the deal. You know, we, we, uh, we learned a lot in 2020. Industry grew. A lot of good things came out of the COVID in terms of our business. Uh, no one, uh, I don't, I can't recall the last time there was such a demand or interest or a need for our products in the marketplace. Being number one Google search term for life insurance was pretty incredible to see, even though it was tragic that we're still, even now, going through this COVID thing. But anyway, 2021, uh, I believe, will be a breakout year for many of us because, as I said, the, the, peop the agents, the people that uh, are, are in licensing and all these things. The ones that made it through this year are tough as nails. And, uh, and you know, virtual became a very big part of our business. It wasn't all of our business. And I still believe that, uh, you know, you need to meet the client where they feel most comfortable. And even here in California, we're still doing a lot of face-to-face -face stuff and we're doing some virtual stuff. I really believe that virtual will continue to grow. And uh, we've got a great new training program that we're kicking off on the 8th of January that's specifically uh, uh, for people that want to do virtual. The great thing about virtual is, and that's why I said some good things about our industry came out of this uh, last uh, 2020 year with the COVID, is that many of these carriers didn't have a virtual product. Uh, they wouldn't allow you to write business unless you, face, you met them face-to-face, -face, uh, you know, kneecap to kneecap. I'm talking about non-medical stuff. Uh, as I always tell my prospects, hopefully soon to be clients, is that, you know, you're going to either see me or a nurse, which one do you, would you prefer? So... That's a good thing. We have uh, just about every carrier now has a virtual type product. So that's, a, you know, that's good. And I, and I do believe that virtual is going to become a, a, a large part of our business going forward. It may even be the future of our, of our industry. Uh, even though I love being face to face, I, I'm a, a relationship type person and uh, I struggle to do that on the, over on the internet or on, on, uh, on you, know, uh, you know, with insurance. With you guys, you, everybody on this channel you knows me and you know, I am what I am, it is what it is, right? But uh, when you're talking about trying to impact somebody and, and you know, and make a sale and, uh, and you, you have very little control when it's virtual. But anyways, look, here's the bottom line. Because of this past year that's been going on, and I really, I'm going to try to get a video out every day leading up to New Year's Eve. So um, they're going to be short and sweet. This is going to be a little longer than the other ones are. There'll be a couple of minutes here and there. But really trying to change our mindset as we head into 2021 because the ones that enter 2021 with a fresh outlook on the industry, on life, uh, on the business. You know, success in this business is largely in how you see it. Uh, if you see it in a negative matter, matter if, you're, if you're spiraling downhill, then you're not going to have success. So I want everybody, including myself, to start off the year with a fresh mindset and be able to really hit, this, hit the ground running. We don't have time for anyone's good ideas. You should find and be working with someone that has proven success selling life insurance with a proven system that they can plug you into and is willing to provide you with ground level support. And again, what do I mean by that? I'm talking about teaching you day to day how to book appointments, how to select products, and be willing to take your you know, calls from the home, your calls from the home, any day or you know you know any hour of the day and you know uh, to help you protect that family and make the sale. It's not about office hours here. Uh, it's about you having success. It's about you going out there in the field. Look, you put the uniform on, right? Uh, they're uh, responsible for you. They didn't just sign you up. They're responsible for your success. So I believe they should be uh, available to you or have a support system that's available to you. Literally 24-7. I mean, okay, no one's out selling insurance at 3 o'clock in the morning, but we are on the phones at 5 or 6 in the morning up until midnight. So, look, and that's that to me, that is the key to the business. I get, I get so frustrated with people that call me up and it's, what's the best IMO? Um, and that's a good question, but it's not the only question you should be asking. You know, what's your contract rate? Good question, but it shouldn't be the only question. Because training support, this business is all about training, support, and leads. 
training, support, leads. Period. If you have those three things, you can come in at any contract level, rise to the top of the comp plan. But if you if you don't have someone that's willing to be invested in your success, that's willing to teach you the skills necessary to succeed here. And I don't want to hear that you had previous sales experience. That's great. Honestly, I'd really have people that don't have a whole lot of sales experience. I don't think we're selling anything here. I believe we're going out and protecting families. We're, we're, we're going out and sharing with them, with them the options, pointing out what they qualify for. Uh, we're more educational, counselor type people than we are salespeople. Because at the end of the day, you know, we want to find out what works for them based on their medical conditions and their budget. So the real salesy types, I don't know. I think you can. I, I think you can drop that. It's all about going in the home and having a conversation with the family. And again, none of that. Had, you know, that 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 to me is having that person there. You know, if they make 10, 15, 20 percent of my production for a period of time, 90 days, six months, or whatever, they earned it. Because in my career, that's exactly what happened. I was struggling until I found someone to teach me the business that I could call on the way to the appointment, that I could call in the appointment, and I could call on the way home from the appointment to kind of debrief. What's that worth to you? So we'll get off the contract rate conversation right now, but I think way too much focus is put on that. Yes, you should be able to get a high contract and earn your way to the top, but you need to be willing to, to, to uh, get somebody that's going to teach you the business, and that person should be paid for their time. They're not going to get, if you want to do it, or be, they may say they are in the front end, but understand, if they're not making any money on your production, you can call all day long and the phone's going to go unanswered in most cases. They're not going to be readily available. It's going to become nothing more than a sign-up process. And we partner with our agents. So just be aware of that type of the snake oil salesman or the, better yet, the snake oil recruiter out there. We learned a lot, like I said, in 2020, but I'm glad 2020 is going to be soon behind us. And I want to share some of you that I want uh, all of us to think about heading into the new year. What are the characteristics of winners? I read this the other day and I thought it was very powerful. Number one, they're maniacs. They're dream driven. They, they live, sleep, eat their dreams until they win. They're kind of nuts. They do whatever it takes, and nuts in, in, according to society, because most people are willing to take what life's going to give them. They're not willing to go out there and grab what they want out of life and be willing to work for it. They sit around and, and they wait for that good job or that good promotion or, or, or the sky to open up and everything's handed to them. And the r- truth is, is that you know, the, the world's not going to give you what you're willing to accept, period. You want something better in life, you got to be a little bit crazy. you got to be a little bit of a maniac. And, you know, you got to be a little, bit, a little bit nuts. They do whatever it takes for as long as it takes, no matter what. Whatever it takes to win. Anything to move them closer to their goal. They love to win, this is me, but they hate to lose more. They will not be denied. They never let the negatives and frustrations and disappointments get them down for very long. If you're ever going, I, told, I said this to my agency the other day uh, on our team here. If you're ever going to accomplish something, you better find out what will make you run through the wall. That might be financial freedom. It might be debt-free. Listen, stop for a moment. Pause the video. And if you're not debt-free, pause it. Grab your girlfriend or your wife or uh, your better half, whatever you want to call them. And just envision what, your, what Christmas would be, would be like um, right now if you had no debts and you were financially free. Would it be different? I think it would be. I mean, we paid off all of our debt last year. It was, it was, it was, it was amazing, absolutely amazing, and it's 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 an, it's an incredible feeling, right? Or maybe it's something major, such. And I love this one because I've been in this place. Something something major like being able to breathe and hold it for you know for a little while without being rushed back to a stressful situation. Relax. Well, that, I'm sorry. You know, people say, well, you're all about money. I'm not all about money. I'm all about life. I'm all about living, right? I'm all about not having money dictate my every decision, dictate the kind of gifts I buy for my kids, dictate the kind of gifts I can afford to buy Angela, to get, you know, all these things. You know, if money, if, you, if you're standing there, you would really like to buy something for, your, for someone in your family, kids, wife, whatever it is. And, and you had to check your bank balance, you are in control of being able to change that in 2021. Completely. I, I talk to people. We have agents here uh, 
that that are they're earning up to you know five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars a year in issue paid premium, and many of them are doing that virtual, all or if not part of it's virtual from the house. That's adult money. And I guarantee you, let's forget about all those guys because they are special. They're willing to work. They're running 20 and 30 appointments a week. Let's just say you ran 10, 15 appointments a week and you made 250000 Stop the video for a second and, and, and think about that. I, imagine what your life would be next year in 2021 if you were debt-free and you owned your income rather than rented it by having a job. I mean owning it, meaning that you know that any given day, you can grab some leads, make some dials, book some appointments, help some families, and make a commission. Five, six thousand dollars, or, or five or six sales a day, which equals five or six thousand dollars of premium. You could do that for one or two days and not work the rest of the week. What again, imagine what the quality of your life would be if you were able to do in two days what you can't do right now in five with all the stress, commuter traffic, all that nonsense going on, having to ask somebody else is permission to go home and be with your kids or take them to the doctor or have a day off. Forget all that nonsense. There's, if you're watching this video right now, there's absolutely no reason why you should ever be in that situation again. Why? Because now you've been presented with the truth. I just told you. It's out there. And it doesn't take any special talents. It just takes being coachable, willing to work, and have a burning desire to, to, to succeed because it's the desire that's going to force you to take action and not make excuses. It's desire. Because the desire is big enough, and the other, there's this old saying, if the dream's big enough, the facts don't matter. Well, the same thing applies to desire. I got a lot of people that are dreaming, right? I got a lot of people that want financial success, right? I got all, you know, in, in the course of a meeting, they, 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 they emotionally make that decision that, hey, I want to make a million dollars next year. And then, you know, Monday comes around and they realize it actually takes work and they're going to have to have some, make some sacrifices and, not, and they're not going to be able to make excuses and, you know, and they're going to have to show up and they're going to have to put the work in and it's not going to be easy and there's going to be disappointments and there's going to be weeks that are struggles. It's going to be up and down, down the valley, up the peak, right? And they quit. Winners never quit, and quitters never win, right? People quit. I don't sit around trying to analyze why people quit, because people just quit. It's the desire, I think, that bigger the desire, it's an old saying, you heard me say it before, until the pain of being in the same place becomes greater than the pain that it's going to take to force you to make 2021 better than 2020. Nothing's ever going to change. If you're the type of person who is more of a kind of a groupie, likes hanging around that water cooler with uh, the co-workers, if you like supervision and being managed, you don't have an issue with uh, having to ask your boss or supervisor when you slip away to the, go to the bathroom or take a short break. If you're okay with asking for time off to attend one of your children's school or sporting events, or even take some time off to be with a sick child or take them to a doctor's appointment, if those things are okay with you and you find that to be the norm, you should not pursue a, a career in life insurance or anything, right? You have an employee mindset, not a business mindset, and that's difficult to change. Now, I've got some suggestions for you on how to change that. It's about personal development and reading some books and, you know, go get Rich Dad, Poor Dad's, uh, uh, you know, book on the, on the S quadrant, the B quadrant. You know, change your mindset, change your life. But if you have a deep desire, a burning desire to own your life and never be in a position to have your entire life turned upside down in a moment like that, which happened in March of 2020 when the federal government and the state government started shutting down the businesses that you thought was job security. They shut down your private business. They, it, you know, I mean, if you were an employee there, you just lost your job. There is no job security or no security in a job. The security is, is owning your income, not renting it, so that nobody 
as long as you, got, you, you can log into a CRM and say, hey, there's 25 people right there that sent in a form, filled it out, and they wanted some life insurance, and I am a life insurance salesman. I get those leads, I make those dials, and you know it's a metrics-based system. So you know that it, you know, it's a law of large numbers. If you buy 25 leads, you'll close three to five sales, you'll make two or 3,000 bucks, and you spend 100 bucks on leads, whatever it is. It's simple, it's all numbers. So now that you know that, you can change your situation. So why aren't you? Now I know I'm preaching to the choir here, so you can share this video out, and please do. But many people's lives are turned upside down in just a second of the 2020, and it may happen again. It's very likely to happen again. But see, I just came back in my office and I kept working. I went out face to face to the ones that let me do that. So did Angela. We did some virtual stuff, and we did some face to face stuff because people wanted our products, right? They wanted to buy those. So I'm able to do that, and I didn't have an income dip. In fact, my income increased in 2020. We had to learn new skills, but my income went up 25%, 27%. See, in a moment, now that you know this information, you can live free and wake up every morning knowing that what you do today is for you and your family, right? No alarm clocks, imagine. I haven't had an alarm clock in 20 years. No boss, only partners who have, a, who have a financial interest to partner with you, not sign you up, partner with you, teach you the skills based on their personal experience and their success, not from some, you know, some, some, some you know, book they get, right? right? They're actually out there doing it, they're leading from the front, selling the insurance too. That's the kind of coach that you want that's willing to invest in you and teach you the skills. I think I've said that enough, but many of you don't, you don't, it, 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 the message is not getting out, right? And while there'll still be a learning process, there's still going to be ups and downs, but it's worth it. Why? Because you're building something. You're building a life, a work-life balance, and with most products, every time you protect the family, you're making a cash deposit into your residual income bank. So someday you're in a position where not 100% of your income is coming from your ability to get out of bed and go, do, go sell some more insurance that day. You have enough money coming in. I don't care if you're 25 or 30 years old. Retirement is a number, it's not an age. You can say I'm retired and I don't need to sell insurance ever again if that's what you choose to do. It's an income that you own that will be there when you need it so that 100% of your income doesn't rely on you getting up every single day, leaving what and who you love to go punch that time clock that is nothing more than an income you are renting that can be yanked away from you at any moment. You have the tools and the partnership with a company that allows you for nothing more than the price of an insurance license, 200 bucks or less, to build a business and own a business. Build and own, better said and create three types of income, high upfront commissions, residual, and a passive income if you wanna hang out a shingle and build your own agency and coach and mentor others to do the same, and that's what I do. I find more enjoyment in that if I never made any money at it. I don't charge for any training or coaching because I love to do it. I love to see the light bulb go up in somebody's thought process and change their life. Where else can can you invest your time with the wins you have by applying yourself and pushing through everyday learning obstacles? Those wins are for you and not for a boss. If what I'm saying resonates with you and moves you to just a little bit on Christmas Eve, and you're saying, that's what I want, and I'm willing to apply myself, and I'm willing to learn and to build a life that provides that work-life balance, then this can be a life-changing opportunity for you guys, guys and gals. But I can't answer that. Only you can. But if you can see a more uh, balanced life in your mind's eye and it moves you to take action, reach out. My contact information is in the description below. And let's talk about it. Let's see if you're a fit for the industry. Let's see what you're looking for. I'll help you match you up with somebody. It may very well be with us. It may not be, right? I talk to a lot of people every week, and, and, and 
and they're all here. The key is, is to get into the business and start changing your life. If that's you, you're the type of person that we're looking to, to partner with and invest in. Look, we operate in the big boy world of 1099 for a reason. We want to have control of our lives, not because we are lazy, but because we want to have an unlimited amount of growth potential to move our lives in the direction of our dreams and not have someone's thumb on our heads holding us down. And the ones that choose to take this path and not hide behind a W-2 of getting a paycheck on Friday, those are the ones that I want to partner with, I want to lock arms with. Those are the people that I'm looking for for my agency. I love working with people that are willing to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes, no matter what, because they know they can change their financial future. In my opinion, my, my philosophy, we only got one life to live, and what we do with it is on us. Merry Christmas, and happy uh, belated Hanukkah to everybody. I love uh, having the opportunity to, to, to share my heart and thoughts with all of you uh, on this channel, and I, I, uh, well, I promise all of you I'll do a better job in 2021 to come here and, and, uh, and just talk, help all of you get to a different place in your life, so this time next year we're all celebrating. Maybe we'll do it together. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.